the hugs <laughs> and kisses say it all. Nine months in Iraq, back home at last. The last time Staff Sergeant Heidi McClintock got to hold her son Bo in her arms was the day before his second birthday. A difficult nine months, but worth it, she says. It's not always about you, it's about other people. And, uh, and he'll learn that one day when he's older and understands why mommy was gone. The members of the 1st Infantry Division helped play a role in driving out ISIS in parts of Iraq. They had to blend in with a number of units, ranging from intelligence, artillery, and military police. I'll summarize it this way, 90 left, 90 came home. That's a pretty good day. A good day for Sergeant Major Jeremy Preister from Omaha. This was his fourth deployment. He was in charge of making sure everyone stayed safe. As a senior leader and watching all the soldiers reunite with their families, it's just, it's phenomenal. You know, this is the thing that makes it all worth doing. A day members of Captain Matt Bartling's 12-year-old baseball team have been waiting for. They wore the support of their assistant coach on the sleeve of their uniforms. Make it home safe. Governor Pete Ricketts greeted the soldiers and thanked them and their families for their sacrifice. That includes Abby Meyer, who made this sweet homecoming card for her fiance. I've been missing you, Mounds, and I've got good and plenty reasons. One big reason, their wedding is October 21st. So he thinks he's going to come back and not have anything to do. I'll keep him busy. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7.